Hi, my name is Bob Greenier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So, when I was looking at Jan Rack's Dragon Unipolar Discharge with this IC thermal camera by Fluke, I was a little disappointed in the recording for three reasons. One, uh, it has its own camera that you can overlay. Well, that didn't appear in the recording. Secondly, the um, audio was not recorded, so you don't get uh, voiceover when you're doing things. And lastly, the uh, frame rate was only nine frames per second. And apparently, this is something to do with export restrictions, or you can have um, it works on an iPhone, but not on Android, or you can have it on an Android phone, but as long as it's uh, a special OS made by Huawei. Um, so that's a bit tedious. So what I'm testing here is if I use a screen recording software on this phone, if I can capture the higher frame rate that the actual sensor was clearly showing me when I was doing the recording in Prague. Okay, so the, the problem I have is that I'm using the camera on the phone which is on the left hand side of the phone and the IC is on the right hand side of the phone so a further improvement would be to stick velcro hooks on the back of the thermal imaging camera and some um, felt on the phone below the sensor which is doing the camera somewhere here uh, let's find it it's this camera. Uh, we can find out what that is later. And align those so that the thermal imaging it has a minimal offset with the optical imaging. So we can even do blend imaging in post. But uh, that's that. I, you, you've got a range of um, color uh, gradients that you can use to color your thermal imaging. I've just got one here, uh, which I used during the testing in Prague. But I think using this software, I think we'll find out we can get much closer to the thermal imaging cameras 25 frames per second rather than the software that comes with it that only records at 9 frames per second. Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.